pool table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall? V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that'd do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Tolls, Ernest Hemingway. 
Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack. Pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? I'll see you at the Coyote then. My deepest condolences. He was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. 
at a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more, and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. He made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty, and she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go, invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. Change your line of work.
Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. Uh, sure. Got some time to kill. Come on, baby. Something that'll keep you hard for hours. Who do I spy but V, in my humble parlor, no less? Bukako. Long time no see. So what brings you here? We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger class specialty. Don't rub me! Got something that'll keep you hard. Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color. out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. 
Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Be wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge, much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here, and I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? 
We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard Let me. Let go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it, covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Suburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude.
I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just said. Drop it. I won't. Can we meet. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? We got completely whacked around that mystical moment. Likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Seen you here. 
here before. Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know who's left. I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out, that is? <laughs> Judy's embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? I need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. It wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Judy. What was that all about? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues. Good shit. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me.
So, you broke even? Yes. You're about to know my rap. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence, we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. This is your local latest. And Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition. Never heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. The identified virus can lead to In extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs Thank for you. you. Sad. Hope you enjoy your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Guess. Hi, I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. Welp, 
Looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Come to terms? Sure. Let me just curl up here on the floor and wait for whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? It wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change, that thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear... is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't. Stop you. Now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh... For all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Afterlife. going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong?
Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Answer the question. Do it. And then you can get back to whatever it is you do. Here's what I don't do. Spill to any rando who walks in here. How about those good looks of yours? Be a shame if they dip below club standards. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. You're not in trouble. Just want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? Need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, are you mad at her or something? No. Know where she is or not. Uh, she's not problem. here. Tried calling her more than once. No answer. Heard she was chipping a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no. Oslo. That was it. Evelyn tell you personally she was going away? Um, no. Just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but we all call him Woodman. Never really know why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. Who is he? Um, he's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. What's going on? Is someone in here? I'm gonna ask the questions. Drop your iron and start talking. Show yourself. Just stay on point. And I said, drop it. I'm not dropping anything. Oh. 
Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cop? That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. to return your weapon. thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? That's cheap. That's infidelity. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's you can, head right team. now. fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, 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 no. Damn, it. damn it! Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? 
run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari. To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. Might even laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. Feeling a bit better now, so scram. Got something important needs doing. One last thing. Alt Cunningham. She's the ace up my sleeve. Oh, fuck off. I'm tired of hearing your voice. Don't blame you, but you'll hear me yet. And don't get killed in the meantime, will you? <laughs> 